The Sweepmaster 980R is a class leading product delivering unrivalled performance and reliability. However, like any piece of precision machinery, it requires regular maintenance. This video shows you how to carry out tasks designed to reduce the risk of breakdown and maintain the highest level of performance. On a daily basis, you should empty the bins, clean the filter and charge the batteries. The bins are easily accessed at the back of the 980R. Remove the bins and empty them, disposing the contents appropriately. Any sort of shrink wrap, banding tape, rope or string should be hand-picked from the floor prior to using the sweeper. To access the filter, raise the seat, remove the filter cover and undo the four thumb nuts. Lift the steel frame up and remove the filter assembly. The filter need only be cleaned at the operator's discretion depending on the type of sweeping carried out and the condition of the filter. To clean the filter, drop it squarely onto a clean, sound floor like this until no more dust falls out. Replace the filter, ensuring the thumb nuts are tight. The batteries are located under the seat. To charge them, unplug the charging lead and connect it to a charger. Always leave the seat raised whilst the machine is being charged. On a weekly basis, you should check the broom for damage and debris. Do a sweep mark test and check the battery levels. To check the condition of the broom, it must first be removed from the 980R. Remove the left hand side panel using the square key. Undo the black thumb nut and remove the closing panel. Raise the thumb latches up and remove the skirt panel. Carefully remove the broom. Check for debris on the broom and in the broom cavity. When refitting, make sure that the skirt panel is the correct way round. The nuts should always face outwards. You should check that the main broom is contacting the ground correctly by performing a strike test. Run the broom and lower it whilst the machine is stationary. Raise the broom and reverse the machine to reveal the strike patch. This should be between 5 and 7 centimetres wide. If it is outside these limits then you should adjust the broom height for wear using the compensator located under the seat. Release the locking nuts and make the adjustments. Repeating the strike test until the strike patch is correct. If your machine does not have maintenance free batteries, you will have to check the fluid levels every week. The battery caps twist off like this. Check that the fins inside the battery are covered. If not, then top up the batteries with distilled water. Be careful not to overfill them and always wear the appropriate PPE. Refer to the operator's manual for further details. If your Sweetmaster 980R appears not to be operating properly, there are a number of things you can check. If the machine appears to be dead, with no power, check the batteries are charged and that the machine is switched on at the ignition key. If the machine is not sweeping properly or it is creating dust, there are a number of things you can check. Listen for the main broom operation when switching on. Clean the filter assembly. Check the broom for wear and adjust the strike patch as described in the weekly checks. Visually check the ceiling skirts for damage and correct adjustment. By following these simple steps you can ensure your Sweepmaster 980R delivers years of sterling service. In the rare event of a serious breakdown, please contact the HACO customer support team.